Hello and welcome to the lesson. Today we're actually going to make a game. How exciting. So I've come straight into uh, scratch.mit.edu under my projects that I've uh, created previously and we're going to have a look at what was created and how does this become a game. So clicking on the green flag and this little beetle follows my mouse pointer. So whichever way I go, it's going to follow. So this is going to be the game that you are going to show your family and friends how to get out of this maze and they've got to use the mouse to make this beetle exit out of the maze. You'll notice that as the beetle is moving, the color changes as well. So we're picking up that code that we did in previous lessons of changing the color. And we're going to uh, have a look at, so how do we make this game? So let me just stop that and I'll go to the desktop version. We've actually got to bring in the maze itself. Uh, and you would have seen from my work, I've acknowledged where I got the maze from. So we simply uh, copy the web address, right click copy, then uh, uh, go into another internet page, browser page, and then uh, right click paste and it brings you to this maze here. Uh, now from experience I know that you have to download the big image. So click on that and it should download to your download folder. So I'm going to click on uh, the file explorer and um, it would eventually go to downloads and then you can copy it to a place where it's more accessible for you. So this is the one here called Kid Maze. So how do we bring that in? It's going to be a background so we click on the background menu and then all the way up the top upload backdrop and navigate to where your maze is saved and you can double click or one click and open both do the same thing and it's pretty plain in the background so what I'm going to do is click on the fill bucket and I want a more green color and then I'm going to click away and then because we're on the fill bucket we can now start clicking into the maze and just make sure we get the whole background and then that looks quite nice on our stage now we don't need the cat so we're going to right click and delete and we're going to bring in a sprite so choose a sprite now you can choose anything you can have a mouse or anything that looks okay uh, in whichever direction it's moving so I'm just going to grab the beetle click on that and it is rather big so I'm going to reduce it down to 30 and push enter then I place it where it needs to start. Now for the code you push event, uh, event when the green flag is clicked. Then motion we want it to go to the coordinates. Uh, go to XY coordinates because we've already placed the sprite there it's picked up the XY coordinates. Then we need a forever and we want looks and we want the uh, change color change color and I'm going to reduce that down to 15 and then let's see what that looks like that looks quite nice and then the last thing we need is uh, to follow your mouse pointer so that comes from motions and then let's have a look where it is point towards mouse pointer this is the one that we need and then let's see what that looks like so wherever my pointer is see how it's not moving so what I need to do is stop and then it needs to move move and I'm just going to make it just really small three steps and then when we push go, it 
we could even reduce it down to let's see what one step looks like that's better that's slower that's quite nice and that's the code so simple but you've made a game awesome so I'm gonna let you um, quickly go and make your own and then have a lot of fun you can go get other mazes if you wish uh, and you can choose a different spot as, as if you wish so have fun see you in the next lesson thanks for watching